I don't know how to not make books my personality anymore. It's just my personality. Yay, books! I love books. Hey, hi, hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel, my book-loving friends. And excuse me if you're new here, and you already know what time it is. We're doing yet another freaking reading vlog, okay? What you believe in? morning i feel gorgeous today <laughs> i love all of you so welcome or welcome back if you're new here okay because if you know what if you're new here hi i'm christina i'm chaotic but i love books so let's talk about them okay okay so i'm in the middle of so many books right now so i just ended my weekend reading vlog if you guys haven't checked that out it'll be linked down below i'm um, sure you girls some love but i'm in the middle of so many books and i'm in the biggest romance mood and you know what guys i think i think i am a romance reader I think I'm a romance reader. I think my fantasy era is gone. I The last fantasy book I read was, was it Flame and Shadow? Listen, I don't even know. <laughs> That's how much fantasy I've read, okay? I, I don't know, I don't know. So out of the 27 books that I've read this year, four of them, five of them, five of them, I think I would consider um, fantasy. And I didn't have two of them. Um, now, for those of you who are new here, I do count my DNFs if I read over a certain amount, um, of that book. Um, it's what it is. If I get at least halfway through and I've spent hours, I'm going to count it. Um, because fantasy books are very, very long, but I did count two of them. Um, and I used to never count my DNFs, but I'm counting my DNFs this year. Um, but yeah, the last fantasy book I read was technically i think bride which is more of like paranormal but it's the most fantasy-ish book i've read well i did start dark city omega i did dean it, but i just don't think i'm a omega verse girly i'm actually going to give that book to carla if you guys know who carla is if you don't you should um carla is one of my best book be be besties um and I love her to death. Um, she's also my in real life friend and we do a lot of bookish things together. So if y'all don't know Carla, you will because I'm with Carla a shit ton. Um, she is a huge Omegaverse girly. So I'm actually going to give her Dark City Omega. I think she would fucking love Dark City Omega. Um, but let's talk about books because this intro is already so damn long. I'm in the middle of so many of them. Okay, so we're just gonna go through all of my current reads. Um, so the first current read I have is The Art of Scandal. I am currently, every time I start doing this, that kicks on. I don't know why, and I'm sorry for it, but I'm currently 68 pages into The Art of Scandal. I am physically reading this, so this probably will take me all week to get through. Um, this was a five-star prediction. It no longer is a five-star prediction. It's not giving me five-star vibes. I just want the drama to kick in, you know? Like, things have already, like, kick-started, but I don't know what it is that I just, I'm not gravitating toward this book as much as I really fucking want to. Um, but I'm going to continue reading this this week. I do plan on finishing this this week. It's also very, very short. Um, so there is this book. I am still enjoying it. It's just a little slower. And once it picks up and, you know, the romance starts and all that chemistry starts, I'll be happy. Um, and then the next book I have is Beasts of Prey. Sorry, okay, all my dust jackets are very far right now and I don't want to get up. Um, but I'm also in the middle of Beasts of Prey. I do have this one on audio, which I will be probably primarily listening to this one on audio. Um, I started this over the weekend, and I am currently 50 pages in exactly. And you know what? This book is exceeding my goddamn expectations. Because... I hate that. I hate that so much for me. But, um, I never go into YA with very high hopes. And I have had this book on my TBR for years. I just purchased this book like last month and I am so mad I've waited so long because you know what? This book is actually kind of giving me five star vibes. Um, there is something so fun about YA fantasy that I don't think I'll ever stop reading YA fantasy for that reason. Because you know what? YA fantasy is fun. It's not hard to understand. The worlds are very easy and they're not complex, but they're fantastic. They're also fantastical, okay? They are just, ah. Uh, YA fantasy will always have a place on my TBR. Um, then we have my audiobooks. So let's get into all the audiobooks I currently have on both Libby and Hoopla. I will tell you all the ones that I currently have, um, that I'm like currently borrowing, um, even if I'm not currently reading them. Currently, I am listening to both Beasts of Prey on Libby, as well as Seven Days in June by T. Williams on Libby. Um, so Seven Days in June, I am 28% of the way through. I am really enjoying it. 
unfortunately it's not giving me five star vibes it could potentially go up to a five star it's currently sitting at a four star um but i think once the romance really kicks in it's gonna just kick itself off you know um i also just got my hold for this could be us by kennedy ryan but i haven't read um the first one yet before i let go by kennedy ryan so i downloaded it on my kindle <laughs> I have an issue okay I'm in a KU romance mood like nobody's business um but those are the ones I currently have on Libby and then on Hoop Live two out currently so I have Restore Me by JL Seegers which I also have on my Kindle I randomly saw it on my Hoopla and I was like whoa I didn't even know there was an audiobook for this so I downloaded it um and it's currently on my Hoopla and then I also have I don't know if you guys actually saw that, but like the light just kept flickering in my kitchen. Anyway, I have the cock down the block. I found this on Hoopla. And I own it. So maybe I'll listen to that also. It's also only eight hours long. It's seven hours and fifty-four minutes. Um, which means it's like a four hour audiobook, so I listen to my audiobooks at two times speed. Um I actually listen to romances a little bit faster than that, but it also depends on the narrator. Um but those are the two I also currently have on Hoopla. Um, <laughs> now let's go into the deep dive that is my Kindle Unlimited, okay? Um, now currently I have started one week in Paradise, um, and that is by Anise St Stair Star. I'll put it right here so you guys can see it because the cover is gorgeous. But, um, I'm in the middle of a shit ton of books, okay? But right now what I'm going to do is read, okay? Because, I mean, I'm not gonna read. What? I'm gonna edit okay I did just recently re um what's it called decorate my Kindle with like a bunch of brand new bookish stickers that I got from Amazon and it's giving me exactly what I wanted it to give me you know motivation to fucking edit <laughs> that's what it's giving me because I want to fucking use it um but I'm absolutely obsessed with how it turned out um but I'm gonna edit for a little bit at the moment um and then I'm gonna read so I think I'm actually just going to edit for like 20-ish minutes. But I'm going to edit. And I will see y'all when I have any bookish updates. Probably later. Probably later. Hopefully later. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? Um, it's Tuesday morning. So you already know what time it is. It's pre-workout time, baby. Um, but good morning how are you happy tuesday um yesterday i oh what a day it was monday all right i'll tell you that much daylight savings really made the fucking day fly i will say that but let's talk what i did read yesterday um so i listened to a little bit more of beasts of prey i was trying to listen to seven days in june but i couldn't listen to it at work i don't know why it just wasn't like i wasn't focusing stuff like that um, but I did start, well, I did listen to a little bit more of Beasts of Prey. So let me just see exactly where I'm at in Beasts of Prey. Not too far in. Yeah, so I'm about 20% into Beasts of Prey. I am still really enjoying this. Um, and I don't know. It's just, it's a really good story so far. I started The Cog Down the Block yesterday. And I got 48% into this book. I did not want to put this book down. I am loving this book. Like, loving this book like to the point where i might give this book five stars it's so good okay the content note in the beginning was fantastic um highly recommend checking out that content note the way that the author wrote that note was gorgeous i think i think it was absolutely stunning now i am obsessed with this cover right this is the cover it looks even better in person to be honest i'm very happy i have the physical copy and i really want like the sequel to it um, because I think the sequel will be just as fun. And this book is so much fun, okay? Because, mind you, there's so many good tropes, right? There's sports romance because he is, um, he's a football player. She's a librarian. And then you have, um, friends to lovers. You have fake dating. All my favorite things are all in one story. <laughs> Um, but I'm really enjoying it. It's actually really, really fun. And one thing I do love is it's also just not taking it so seriously. It's also just really funny. So it's really fun to listen to. Um, I just love their friendship dynamic. I don't know. I don't know. It's great. It's great. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, so I definitely plan on listening to some more of that right now. It's pre-workout time, as you all know. Um, but yeah, anyway, 
I'm gonna go work out now. I have no idea what I'm doing today. I'll figure that out when I, once I get there. Uh, I will see y'all. Hoi. Later. Oh, yesterday I did manage to edit a shit ton. Because I didn't want to stop listening to the book, right? So I was listening to the book as I was making food. And as I was just rough editing. So I rough edited my entire romance reading vlog. Um, so I'm probably going to edit some of that today before I go into work. So I go into work at 10.30 today, so. <sighs> Should have some time to just chill, hang out, probably go to a coffee shop. I don't know yet. I'll see how I feel. I'll see how I feel. But cheers. I'll see y'all later. Okay, I left the gym, right? But I just want to finish this chapter. And Cash? Cash, what are you doing? <laughs> how are you doing this? Oh my god! Oh, that's mean! That's good, but it's mean! This man, this man, he's a man of few words, you know, but he just... just happened? We were getting hot and heavy, and now we're... We're not. I like flirty cash, not distance cash. Flirty cash. Confident and sexy as hell. <laughs> That's what I would say too. Shit. God damn it. I don't want to continue reading this book. See, this is the this is my issue. Okay, I'll start reading and then I don't want to stop, but I gotta go home so I can continue reading this book. Okay, let's go home and let's read for a bit. Okay, that's what I want to do. We're gonna get cozy and comfy and read. Hello. How are you? I am back from work. It is currently 6.48 and I am finally home, but it is so nice out and it's still sunny outside, so that's great, but I finished it and I finished it at work and I absolutely adored this. I loved it. I loved the audiobook. I was obsessed with these two. Like, their relationship as not just friends, but when they actually started having feelings well they i think okay essentially they pretty much had feelings the whole time but like when they started expressing those feelings the way that they went about it his protectiveness will forever and always be spectacularly sexy in my opinion um but ugh, i loved it i loved every second of it i also love how the author specifically says this content note is just everything her content note says, this is a book of fluff, fluff that I worked really hard on and I'm extremely proud of. It's meant for escapism and laughs. We need fluff. It's the insulation from the harsh world around us. I think it's important to have fat representation in the media and I do that by showing fat women getting happy ever afters without ever having to lose weight. However, that doesn't mean there won't be any conflict nor angst. While it was really important for me to write a story with a confident plus size fat curvy heroine whose inner strength and love for herself doesn't waver, I will always put pieces of myself into every one of my curvy girl FMCs and I'm still working on my own journey of self love, aren't we all? Ain't that right? That means that the heroine does face some external fat phobia in this book. It's not the main storyline, but it is an important part of the conflict. If you still want to read the book but skip that particular part, don't read chapter 26 love that she includes a chapter in here but if you got the mental space for it try it out and see i did um listen to it it was talked about but not for a long period of time but if you are triggered by it i would just skip the chapter in itself you could skim if you're physically reading the book um there is also talk about loss of parent in the past our cocky kingmans were raised by a single father so there is a lot of he does talk about the passing of his mother a lot um because it does affect his day-to-day -day and i would i it, it it is brought up a lot it is very much brought up a lot uh what i can promise you though is that my books will always hold a space that is free of violence against women including sexual assault which i appreciate because that is one of my triggers um, that just doesn't exist in the world that I create. And finally, I love to write about funny animals and pets. No pets will ever be harmed or die in any one of my books, which I love. Um, I like to cry at touching Super Bowl commercials and Broadway musicals about witches who defy gravity. Not in my romances. Wink. And then the dedication is for all the women who have done or are doing the most to love yourself from the inside out. You're allowed to take up space. I love this author love okay and 
I loved this book. It was such a fun, fluffy read. Like, that's what I needed. I needed a fun, fluffy read. And this was exactly, exactly, exactly what I needed. I'm obsessed with her still because, god damn, is she hot, bro. But, ugh, this was great. Like, I had all of my favorite tropes, okay? You have a sports romance because he plays, he's a quarterback in a football team. You have best friends to lovers, one of my favorite tropes absolutely love then you also had fake dating also my favorite trope like everything about everything in here was perfect i loved it so i did get this book five uh four stars and i give it five stars i get this book four stars the only reason i didn't get five uh i can't really tell you it just wasn't a five feel for me you know i do write books on the experience and this was just not a five star feel but it was fantastic it was four is a high four like a four and a half if anything but superb love this so much so i'm about to go take a shower i want to wash my hair so bad and then I'm going to continue one week in paradise. I am really, really enjoying this. I did read a good chunk of it this morning. I'm currently 84% of the way through. And I'm also very much enjoying this. Um, I will say though, now this book is a short book. So I did expect the romance to be pretty fast. But it was so abruptly fast. That's the only, that's my only critique. I do still love them both. Um, and I love Cash. And I think his demeanor and his persona is just sexy as hell. But it went from, like, nothing to all of it in such a very short amount of time. Like, it literally was, like, one page, he doesn't like her, he hates her, and he's giving her an attitude. And the next page, she's trying to take her pants off and finger her in front of everybody. Like, it was, I don't know, it, was, it happened very, very fast. Um, so that is probably going to dock it down just one star, but I'm still really much enjoying this and I am really liking it, so I do want to see where it goes. And yeah, that's it. That's Those are my thoughts on the two books that I'm reading. I am enjoying them. They are the fluffiness that I needed and they are so much fun. So I do plan on finishing One Week in Paradise tonight. Hopefully I can give you an update before I go to sleep, but if not, then I will give you guys that update tomorrow. Tomorrow I have a fun little me day planned after work, which I'm very excited about. Um, hopefully it's still going to be nice out tomorrow. And it is, it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be 69 degrees for me. Am I a child for that reaction? Possibly, but it's not gonna be 69 degrees and I don't care. So it's gonna be 69 degrees tomorrow, which is fantastic because I would love to, I leave work at 2.30 tomorrow. Tomorrow is my early day. So I leave work at 2.30. I plan on coming home, changing, and possibly, possibly, I haven't made my mind up yet. I may or may not walk to my coffee shop and get some work done. And you know, I'm probably gonna edit. I'm probably gonna bring my book and just have a good old time by myself. Um, but yeah, that's it. I will see you guys hopefully later, if not later than tomorrow. Good morning. How are you? My hair is washed and does not look crazy for the first time in this entire vlog. So, happy Wednesday. Something so good about caffeine. Good morning. It is 5 a.m. And I'm probably about to read for a little while. But I did finish One Week in Paradise. And I'm giving this a solid three. I think this is a perfect three star for me. Um, I will say I do think it was starting out as a four. I do think that the romance was extremely rushed. Um, I think the epilogue was cute. I do think it was still a really good story. I will say huge trigger warning for cheating. It is mentioned a bunch in this book, okay? Um, not physical cheating is happening on page, but discussion of cheating is constantly being talked about. So I would definitely um, be careful with that. But I did give this a solid three. I think it was um, a very fun, very fast read. Um, and yeah. That's all. A good time. A good old time. I don't know what I want to read next. Um, there is one last job, which is the second book in this series. And I think it is fairly short. Um, and I might read it. Because I think it was... I think it involves her best friend from this book. And I think it's going to be like a... Like a haters to lovers. Which I think would be freaking adorable. That will probably be my Kindle read um for the next couple of days this one's longer which i hope means that the romance is a little bit more flushed out um i do love a slow burn so i do think that's just a personal preference um if you don't mind a little bit of it was more of just i don't think it was insta love um but it was like insta infatuation type of thing you know like that was my only critique about the book but i'm about to sit down oh i have an unboxing I forgot I had an unboxing. Let's unbox, guys. This is really cute. I bought this off Etsy. Um, I hate opening these boxes because 
My nails never want to open these boxes. It is a it is a bookish themed item. So it's a cute little box and it's adorable with a bookstore on it. And it says and into the bookstore I go to lose my mind and find my soul. Um, so I saw this on Etsy. I was looking for a cute little box to put all my annotation stuff in because I have a bunch of midliners. I have a bunch of tabs. I have a bunch of highlighters. I have a bunch of pens that I like to use. And I just, they're in multiple things currently. So I wanted something to put them in. And this I think would be the perfect little thing. Oh, there's a free gift. This is so, that's why I love ordering off Etsy. What's the free gift? I want to know. Oh, they're stickers. Oh, I love this. <laughs> this one says, I'd rather be finishing my TBR. Can you, I really hope you can see that without a glare. Focus. There you go. And then this one says, and it's the bookstore I go to lose my mind and find my soul, which is what's on the front of this. How adorable is that? Oh, I love that so much. This is why ordering from small businesses is always so nice because it's so personalized every single time. Um, but yeah, so I will be using this for that. And I'm very excited because I wanted something bookish. I was trying to look for one period, but I really wanted one that was bookish because I wanted one that was bookish, okay? I don't know how to not make books my personality anymore. It's just my personality. But I'm going to read a little bit of The Art of Scandal right now. Um, I have to be at work at 6.30, so I only really have like an hour to read. Um, but I'm going to just enjoy myself with my cup of coffee and this book. And hope I don't get bored while I read it. It's so upsetting when you have a five-star prediction that you're so excited about. And you're not enjoying it the way that you wanted to. You know? But it's okay. I, I just hope it picks up. Okay, I will see you guys later. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through But I know it's not true I wanna put up all my walls Cause I'm not in the mood But then I cut myself off From the rest of the room I know that I can heal it all If you're patient and soon It can all be worth it All the searching Pain is never really permanent But damn it hurts man I could feel all of the turbulence And it's concerning I've been searching for a purpose I hope it's worth it this society is really trying me Ain't no I didn't seek I hide to be far from anxiety I need my space, I need my privacy I need some silence, please You're all too loud, you don't speak quietly Opinions violently thrown across every surface and make Okay, hi, I'm, I'm at the bookstore because I, I live here now Um, and I am with my bookstore owner Say hi, Joe! Hello! This hi. is so weird, he's never been on camera before So I wanted to do something fun and I asked him for him to choose a book for me to read eventually. Now, mm. he's more of a suspense thriller person. I am. I am not. So let's see what he chooses. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right. Should I just go over? Just go. Just go. Right. I'm gonna follow you. All right. So I'm. I'm coming with you. Some of my. I always go with like recommendations. The woman in the window. Okay. It is. A book, it's been out for a while. Uh, I believe it came out in 2019 or 2020. And they did make it into a Netflix movie, but the movie's terrible. <laughs> the book is really good because his new book finally just came out, End of Story by A.J. Finn. It's on the bestseller list right now. But this is like a great classic um, gaslighting book. Like, 
is the woman in the window was she really well the woman in the window it depends on how you look at it is it the woman in the window who's looking through the window or is it the woman that she sees or she thinks she sees through the window across the street and was she really ever there i don't know um, i also well this is whole <laughs> i was waiting for you to do that but she's like 50 shades of grayish so depending on your mode um have you met me joe know, do you right? know my mode i know <laughs> And then there he is, of course. Uh, where did it go? Oh, the silent patient. I read it. Okay, at least we're on the right track. Mm hmm. I read it. I haven't read the maidens yet. I the did. The book is out as well. Yes. The fury. The fury. Mm hmm. Let me see. What else would she like to read? Okay. The so maidens now, was good, but the silent patient's better, in my opinion. I'm very old school. Oh, goodness. I what are you about to grab? A classic Sydney Sheldon. Because before there was any of these people, before there was even Danielle Steele, before there was Nora Roberts, before there was anybody that you read now, the inspiration for a lot of these authors started with Sidney Sheldon, who was like my favorite author. This is one of my favorite books of all time. It is classic soap opera. Oh my god, I want it. Sold. It's such a soap opera. Sold. Book. It has got drama, it's got history, it's got romance it's got everything and it's got this big twist ending and they did made this into a movie as well in the 70s that's how far back this goes but <laughs> the movie was so good this is so good this um where's um where's rage of angels i must be out of it bloodline oh my god so good wind the middle of the gods so good stranger in the mirror that's his first one so goodness good. and sidebar sydney sheldon created i dream of genie I hope you know what that is. <laughs> Although people are like, I don't. Oh, ooh, but... What's I Dream of Genie? <laughs> Look it up. Okay, Google okay. is free, Joe. Say yes. that. Google is free. Google is free. <laughs> Here. That's my recommendation. I'm obsessed. Old school. Go okay. back. I'm in a huge romance mood. So. I love this book. So. My oh my god. I'm excited. Okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yay. Okay. We might make this like a segment. Okay. Because this would be so much fun. Another one of my all-time favorites. I love Sandra Brown. Sandra Brown, yeah, you mentioned Sandra Brown a lot. Sandra Brown's so good. I love The Witness. I love <laughs> Chef's this book. Kiss. Chef's Kiss. <laughs> so good. Kept me reading. This goes way back. To, like on a Saturday night, I was supposed to meet my friends, and. I couldn't put the book down, and in I, I think I finally like put it down and met them at like midnight. I was supposed to meet them at like ten o'clock. I'm like, I can't <laughs> put this down because it was so good. It was so. At least you showed. I would have just canceled plans. So I know. So many twists. <laughs> Exclusive. Another one. Oh, oh, twist ending. I was like, n did not see it coming at all. <laughs> one of my favorites. These are all like my favorites. This is so much fun. This is so much fun. I love this entire. We segment. should go like a whole segment called Old School. Oh. oh my god, did he just come up with the whole video idea? Mm. The sass. It's the sass for me. Oh my god, okay. Am I supposed to be on a book buying fan? Yeah, am I about to buy four books? Let's not mm -hmm. talk about it. It's okay, I'm going to be here all day on Saturday. I need, I need company. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is usually how I get paid. <laughs> I know. She works off in trade. I do. See, we have a deal because he knows how obsessed with the um, books I am. Mm -hmm. So usually he asks if I want to actually pay with my discount or if I just want to accept books as payment for hours eventually when I do them. I know. She's like, she's like, she's basically covered for the entire Saturday already for what she's gotten in the past. So, so that's okay. Like, this is like upcoming. Like I'm, I, she's a like, kid's paid in advance in books. I do. And then, you know, I just I just work whenever he needs but me it's to. It's worth it because it gives me a little bit of a life, which I rarely have. <laughs> but it's his anniversary this Saturday. Well, I don't think I don't think John's gonna John yeah, it is. John This, this isn't gonna be out for like oh, yeah. a month. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, really? I'm very behind. I was just editing one of my vlogs uh -huh. from not Valentine's Day, the week after Valentine's Day. Oh, so it's a good month. From like a month ago, oh, yeah. So I'm pretty behind on vlogs. So like yeah. They're aware. It's okay. When this comes out, this comes out. But, but books are timeless. It doesn't matter how doesn't long matter. it takes. But you'll whip through this. This is. I'm so excited for this. Whip through this one. Okay. Such a, just like one of my all-time favorites. Maybe I'll start it tonight. Oh, good. Yay. <laughs> Listen. Okay. He got me to watch How I Met Your Mother. Mm-hmm. 
And I called him when, when it ended. <laughs> Second greatest sitcom of all time. Second? What's your favorite? It could be the first. Shit's Creek. Oh, I have to watch that. Everyone loves that. Oh my gosh, you ever watched that? No. I don't watch TV. We discuss this every I single know. time. I know, but look how fast you got through my I know. there. But there were also like 20 minute episodes. That's Shit's Creek. But I was also in a reading slump. Mm, it's true too. All right, I'm gonna finish my new release Tuesday, which by the time you see this, it'll be old release Tuesday. Isn't it oh, Wednesday? It's, I'm, it's Wednesday. I mean, yeah, but <laughs> I, I didn't have time to do it yesterday, so now it's new release Wednesday. Uh, huh. We love this. It's okay. The chaos. And here's the storybook story, y'all. In Union Center. Union, New Jersey, y'all. 29 years and counting. Almost Key. 29 years. It's, it's been 29. August will be 29 years. Long, beautiful years. Yeah. God, you've been here for a long time, Joe. I know. Good thing there's just for men. <laughs> these, now do you see why I love being here? Okay, I'm gonna pay for these books now. No, I'm not, I'm gonna accept not the same. Anyway, okay, bye! Hello, 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 how are you? Can you all see me? I really hope y'all can see me. I really hope the lighting's okay. But hi, how are you? As y'all saw, I went to the coffee shop and I edited a large chunk of my romance reading vlog, so I'm very excited for that. I'm just like in shade, but it's fine. So I did edit a good chunk of my reading vlog. Love the way it's coming out, but it's definitely a very chatty vlog. I've edited like half an hour of the vlog, and I don't even think I've given like one bookish update. It's been like, um, it's been bookish. Like there's been a lot of bookish unboxings, but it's a very chatty, chatty vlog. So I'm excited for that to go up. Um, hopefully I can come back to the coffee shop tomorrow and edit some more. But you guys met Joe, you guys met my bookstore owner. I love him more than I love life himself. Um, he is just such a bundle of dough, of what now? He is such a bundle of joy. Um, I absolutely adore him. And he, I just bought four books. And by bought here, okay? We're gonna do um, girl math. So, am I in a book buying ban? Not technically, but I'm trying to buy less books. Um, I didn't pay genuine money. I just paid my time for these books. Um, as we discussed with you guys, uh, literally Joe will just, instead of me paying for these, he accumulates them into hours. Um, so I still get my discount. He applies my discount to how much that he pays me an hour and then he accumulates that into how many hours are worth the amount of books that I buy. So am I genuinely paying money? No! We don't have to talk about logistics, okay? But let's do a minor book haul, okay? Okay. So obviously y'all saw, um, my bookstore owner gave me The Other Side of Midnight by Sydney Sheldon. Um, this is the one that he recommends. I might genuinely start this today. It is mass market, you know, but that's fine. I will say, I do think mass market paperbacks are the best smelling books. If y'all agree, if y'all understand the weirdness, let me know. Um, am I the only one who smells my books? I know I'm not. I don't know what it is. A mass market paperback smells good, okay? Um, but he absolutely adored this. Like, he cannot wait for me to read this book, so now I can't wait for me to read this book. Um, and I'm in a huge romance mood, so maybe I'll just start this. Maybe. Maybe. Probably. Okay, next! So, okay, this book is a book that I see every single time I step into this bookstore. And I've seen it for a very long time, and it's just so pretty, and it's too pretty for me not to own, okay? And that is Songs of Eerie, is what I want to say, by Asha Ashanti Bromfield. God, for the love of God, I really hope I said that right. But look at this cover. Can it not get more stunning? Because I don't think it can. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's act it's genuinely gorgeous. But yeah, I don't really know anything about this book. I just know the cover's gorgeous. That's all I know. So yeah, I'm excited for this. Um, I probably will save this for a little bit later on, but it's definitely giving like a spring summer book vibe, you know? And we're getting into the season, y'all, because it is currently 70 degrees outside. That's fucking wild. Uh, next book I got is When Grumpy Met Sunshine by what now? What did I say? When Grumpy Met Sunshine by Charlotte Stain. Um, also very cute cover. I am really into rom-coms right now. I'm, um, I'm pretty much reading romance. I think I am genuinely just turning into a romance reader. Fantasy will come when it comes, but right now it's all romance for me. And it was blurred by Talia Hibbert, so... We all know I love her. A hilarious and modern Cinderella story that feels like eating warm chocolate cake. That is phenomenal, in my opinion. Um, but I do know that this is a soccer player, and there's plus size ref. I'm Portuguese, okay? 
I watched a shit ton of soccer growing up. And honestly, Cristiano Ronaldo will always and forever be my first crush, so. Anyway, the last one I got is Pride and Protest by Nikki Payne. I do own Sex, Lies, and Sensibility by Nikki Payne. Um, I'm very excited. I have heard that her smut is chef's kiss phenomenal, so I cannot wait to read this. Uh, I am very excited to get into this. Also, this is a seriously floppy, so the floppiest of paperbacks, okay? I'm sorry. Do you see that? Look at that. It's flopping with just holding it. So, very excited for this book also. So yeah, anyway, it's so weird because I just added this to my want to read on Goodreads, literally today, and my bookstore owner happened to actually have it. So, I got it. Anyway, yay books. I love books. Okay, let's go home. I have no idea what I'm going to do when I get home, but I'll do something. Um, and, ugh, do I have to cook? I really don't feel like cooking. I'll probably just make Juan cook, unless I randomly get in the mood to cook later, who knows, but yeah. Okay, let's put the AC on because it's getting hot in here, y'all. And I'm sorry, but I don't want to take off of my clothes. I don't know what the fuck is going on me. Also, that coffee at the coffee shop is so good. It's so good. I I have always gotten Flying Fox Latte, which is like a hazelnut, vanilla, good, sweet latte. Um, And it's good, but it has been hitting the same. And the other day when I came here, I think last week, I tried their vanilla sugar-free latte. It's a sugar-free vanilla syrup. And it's delicious. It's my favorite thing ever. So I got that and that was delicious. Um, but yeah, I edited while watching um, Jody Sprints with Jan. Um, and I was extremely productive. So now we're going to go home. We're going to hang out. We're going to chill. We're going to read. And call it a day. Oh, wait. I started a new book. Holy fuck. I didn't tell you guys this shit. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Bad out there. We have to discuss my books. So I started a new book. The fuck? I didn't tell you guys this. Um, and I'm fucking loving it. Like, it's a five-star prediction. I am reading... I started Relationship Goals by Christina C. Jones on KU this morning at work because I didn't want to work. Um, and I'm currently 20% of the way through. And I'm really liking this. Like, when I tell you I'm really liking this, like, I am obsessed with this. Like, everything about this, I am obsessed with. So, I am loving this so much. It's also very short. So, I'm trying to binge this by tomorrow. Um, but, anyway, that's it. No more talk because I'm talking too much. This is a nine minute clip. For what, Christina? For what, Christina? I'm gonna hate myself when I edit. Okay, I will see you guys later. I have way too much energy right now. Hi guys, how are you? Um, happy Thursday. My hair is going nuts. Um, but hi. I am walking. It's sunny. Um, but I'm walking to the coffee shop right now because I can. <laughs> it is absolutely stunning outside right now. It is 71 degrees right now and it's absolutely gorgeous. Can you guys see me? I don't fucking know because the sun's are crazy right now. But it is so nice outside. I woke up this morning and I did not go to the gym. Okay, I have no idea if that's better, but hello. Um, so I woke up this morning and I had no want in the world to go to the fucking gym. So I didn't go to the gym. I didn't work out this morning. I literally have woken up and just chilled in bed. So, to compensate for this morning, I have chosen to take a fucking walk, okay? Um, so, that's what I'm doing. I have no idea how far of a walk the coffee shop's going to be, but we're about to find out. So, it is currently 3.08. I left work at like 2, a little after 2.30 today. Left work about half an hour early because I was able to and I didn't want to be in there anymore. And it's beautiful out, so I wanted to enjoy it, you know? So... That was fun, but while I was at work, I started and finished a very short book. <laughs> so I read, I forgot the heck it's called, hold on. <sighs> so I started and finished Sanctuary by Alexandria House, who's the exact same author who wrote Goal that I really liked. Um, it was on Hoopla, it was like a two hour audiobook, um, and I listened to it at like 2.35 speed, um, and I enjoyed it. It was a fun time. I'm, I gave it three and a half stars. It was good. It was fast. It was fun. It was sexy. It was kind of paranormal, um, which I enjoyed because I didn't expect it. I didn't read the synopsis. I just saw that it was available <laughs> and I read it. So and that was fun. Um, I've also decided to just soft DNF Beasts of Prey because um, I'm just not in a fantasy mood. I don't I can't get into fantasy the way that I used to, and I think I've mentioned that already before, but I just, I don't know what it is about fantasy, I just cannot get into it the way that I used to, and I have no clue why. So, I don't know what it is about fantasy, like, even YA fantasy for some reason, I can't get into, um, 
maybe if it's a more romantic -y book, maybe I can get into it, but like, I just wanted something fun that I could read fast, you know? And I didn't get that, but it's fine. I'll live. I'll be fine. You gotta get out and have some fun. You gotta have fun. <laughs> I love people. Yeah, it is gorgeous out though. But I think maybe if I have like a more romance based book, I might be more into it. Because right now all I want is romance. I don't want anything else other than romance, you know? So maybe if I have romance, that'll be a little bit better. But this is a very busy street, so I'll wait to talk until I pass here because it's gonna get loud. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. Every single day I'll be making moves Till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the Hi Good morning Happy Saturday Um I don't know if I ever Gave you guys any Update yesterday I don't remember updating the vlog At all yesterday Um Yesterday Was Um A, a chill kind of Friday Nothing crazy Um But yesterday morning I didn't Actually read anything I was editing for most of the morning um, and then at work I was reading a little bit more of relationship goals by Christina C Jones which I am still reading I have not finished it I'm not gonna be able to finish it in this vlog which is fine but I am here to close off the vlog because this is a weekly reading vlog so I didn't want to take it into today um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog let's get into the books I've read for this vlog I don't think I read too many books I read three books which is good one was immensely short, but it's fine. Um, so we'll get into the three books I finished and what my current thoughts are on my current read that I am really, really loving. Um, so the first book I finished in this vlog was The Cock Down the Block, which is part of the Cocky Kingman's number one by Amy Award. I loved this book. I gave this book four stars, honestly, probably four and a half stars. Everything about this book was so good. It was so cute. It was quirky. I cannot wait to read the sequel. Um, now, the sequel is out on KU, but it's not out on audio just yet. And I loved the audiobook to this, to be honest. So I might wait until June for the audiobook to come out. Um, because I really loved the audiobook experience. I binged this in like a day. It was so good. I loved everything about it. Everything about it was absolute perfection. It was funny. It was quirky. It didn't take itself seriously. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. Um, then I finished One Week in Paradise, and I really enjoyed this one too. I gave this book, I think, three and a half stars. It was it was good. It was fun. It was short. Um, it was only 222 pages, but still a good time, so I gave that book three and a half stars. And then I read Sanctuary, a short story by Alexandria House. Um, really enjoyed this one. Gave this book three and a half stars also. It was fun. It was short. It was fast, and it was steamy, so what can you go wrong, okay? Loved all three of them those um so overall it was a pretty good reading week and i also started relationship goals by christina c jones christina c jones let me tell you this book can write a story okay i am loving this this book is so good it's so good i'm really enjoying this. this is sitting at like a high four star right now it's probably between four and four and a half i don't think it will get to five stars but it's definitely sitting at like a really high four star right now um i'm loving this it's so good it's so good um so i have no idea if i've even talked about this book yet but relationship goals by christina c jones is a book where you follow these two adults who meet at a airport okay and uh he was very flustered he dropped something she helps him and they lock eyes and he says i'm sorry she goes for what and then he kisses her in the airport and then leaves because he has to go make his flight so like that was it like that was the whole thing and they come find out who each other are and it's pretty much it's a, it's a whole love story and it's so good it's so good okay this is um based on a long distance relationship so if y'all want to see something of that this is really really good i am currently 76 percent of the way through um really really enjoying this i plan on continuing this today but i'm going to end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed it um i wish i read a little bit more in the vlog but it's okay okay this was a realistic week of reading for me so 
we're we're gonna keep it like that okay um well i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see y'all in a bookish video coming soon Mwah. bye